Ahoy mates! Welcome back to Call of Cthulhu, where today we are beginning Chapter 7, I believe. And we are on our way to visit Algernon Drake, who I believe is a renowned antiqu antiquities dealer of some kind. And we have some questions for him. Chapter 7, The Nameless Bookstore. The Shambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. I remember that, I was there. After a hard fight, the detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Francis Sanders by a man named Algernon Drake, owner of the Nameless Bookstore. Pierce decides to pay the library a visit. All right, maybe we're finally going to get one of those laid-back, inquisitive, investigative chapters. And uh, no more monsters chasing us. That'd be appreciated. Oh, boy. So we're already starting off with blood spatter. <laughs> I might not get my wish. Where is the bookseller? If there's one inference I can make about being in a bookstore now, there's probably going to be a lot of medicine books around here, so I should probably be looking for that. And as for where the bookseller is, uh, well, if, if the window was, uh, looks like punched open and someone broke in, I don't know, maybe they kidnapped them? But, who knows. An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 4. Is this occultism? No, it's just an item, and now I have it. Awesome. This whole damn island just loves their fluorescent green TikTok lights, don't they? There we go. Another medicine tool, as expected. This is another one. Two medicine books already. Nice. <laughs> it's funny, this skeleton has like no neck. It makes him look like a Halloween decoration. Even though that probably is supposed to be a real skeleton. I thought it was a smash bottle or something. Um, alright. I mean... I'm gonna keep poking around a little bit. History of Darkwater, Volume 2. A Puritan colony, led by Reverend John Wickwood, settled on the island during the 17th century. They named the island Darkwater because of the dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the islands. They erected the first buildings, among which were the Hawkins Manor, the church, and the cemetery. The rare documents and handwritten notes they left spoke of nightmares and the deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. Well, that's kooky. Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. Is this going to progress my psychology stat? No, it's just medicine again. All right, uh, I was going to say, I get the feeling that maybe just finding these little books that don't increase the stat might be unlocking dialogue options later on, just so that we've, you know, learned more things about the island. Because that's the only other thing I can think of a part that they may play. Is that... This dude has a lot of skulls, honestly. He's just got one in a box right there. History of Darkwater, Volume 4. I'll give this a quick skim. In the 19th century, as the American whaling industry reached its peak in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the waters surrounding Darkwater. This mysterious phenomenon appears even more mysterious because up till then, the region was a favored refuge for cetaceans. In 1847, the, after months of pursuit, Scylla returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. Hold up. That is a different story from before. We were told that the Miraculous Clatch... <laughs> we were told that the Miraculous Catch was a giant whale in and of itself. This claims that it was a sea monster that had eaten all the whales. Eee. I can understand why those... They didn't want those shysters to put it back in the water. Lamp oil. Can I just keep on refilling it? I guess I can, wow. Unlimited lamp oil. Amnesia would never. God. All right. Where is this Algernon fella? What happened here? Uh, I guess it looks like we can poke around his study. Let's start over. 
Where did they break in from? Right here. Blood. Seems like amateur work. I was gonna say, I don't think any of these high-profile dream haunter cult fellers would just punch through a window and leave blood all over the place. Uh, what's this? To whom does this footprint belong? Okay, so we've got someone coming in who looks like they're wounded. Maybe the person who punched the door really hurt themselves. How about right here? Blood spatter? This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. Do we know someone who might be clumsy enough to fit the bill? Maybe it was Algernon himself. I kind of got the impression that he was a bit of a screwball. This is brightly lit, and there's a lot of things to look at what here. What killed all these animals? Holy shit. I, did, I just realized that. It's, what, a dead rat? And a bunch of cicadas? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Okay, so someone tried to rob him. And he's got a safe behind this portrait. What the... Charles Hawkins? What? How do you see Charles Hawkins here? Hey there, Charles. What's up? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What's going on? We've never had an investigation mode go like this before. What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? A book. Okay. The Pierce didn't Hawkins like that. Sarah helped hide something in this safe. She helped hide something. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Hmm. Alright, well, how do we open it? Ooh, looks like we've got a puzzle chapter. Alright. So somewhere in this room, we've probably got a combination. A strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. Amulet in the shape of a dog. Huh. Shouldn't touch it, but you picked it up anyways. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. Uh, we actually had a recommendation. I, I've, it's been a while since we've actually done to our character stats. Somebody recommended that we should actually... Whoa, 13 points available. Wow. Yeah, somebody told me that spotting is actually the most valuable stat by far. So let's go ahead and give it 6 to that. So it's up to 70 now. Uh, I kind of want to keep strength going up just for the hell of it. But... Hmm. I want... I, let's, let's dump it to eloquence. I want to see... I want to see some fun speech options later. My goal is I want to win Cat over in conversation. Because she's a very difficult character to display. Uh, more medicine stats. Nice. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? But we take, yeah, we item obtained, which is more freaking sleeping pills. What's this? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? The Key of Relegia? That is a familiar title. This key that bears the Elder Sign is the only one able to protect your psyche. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points to it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from its last owner, an Egyptian antique dealer. In the press cuttings that mention and the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. So does this mean that Drake was actually keeping... A mark on him. Interesting. He was keeping tabs on the Hawkins. I want to meet this Drake fella. He seems like an interesting character. I know that we actually ran, bumped shoulders with him in the Stranded Whale, but he didn't seem to have anything important to say back then. Oh, look at this. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Ooh, a riddle! Oh, I'm so excited. A page seems to be hidden here. It is, it is possible to read. 
If somebody finds these memoirs, there will be no doubt that I'm in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality, in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral urn must be given to my dear mother if she's still of this world. This sounds like how Lovecraft writes a lot of his stories. <laughs> the following message is of capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrates acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe, and the clues to the combination are to be hidden in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If, by chance, a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect and find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. Ooh, that's a name drop right there. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall into the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions. Well, where to begin? Each cylinder is hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Would that be the Agora? Or Acropolis? I forget what word that would be. Maybe Symposium. I'm not sure. I, I th It's been a long time since I've had Greek vocabulary. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated authors say. Alright, let's back up and have a look. So, Drake's memoirs. I hope Drake isn't dead. I want to meet the guy. He seems very interesting. And furthermore, he seems like a good guy, too. Not too many good guys in this game. Okay, so... Oh, well, there's a lot more things I can look at now. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. A book of spells supposedly written by the legendary King Solomon. Were these here before, and I just couldn't see them because my spot hidden stat was insanely low at the time, and now it's like god tier? How many volumes are there in this collection? Isis Unveiled. Esoteric Philosophy. No, this looks like it might be part of figuring out what the code is. Another volume by Arkham Editions. Azathoth and Other Horrors. Okay, what am I supposed to do with that information? Each book has a different volume number on it. So maybe there's a clue on the titles that's supposed to tell me which ones are the correct digits. It's difficult to say. I think that that's our clue. It's something to do with this. How many volumes are there in this collection? The book number is definitely what's going to put this off. H.P. Blavatsky. Howard Philip Blavatsky. And that's seven. Okay. Let me do a quick walk of the building to see if anything new has shown up. What's this? Ooh, what's behind here? Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. We actually have found a couple of those now. Can we listen to those on our own, or do we need something? Let me check our inventory. No, we can't actually do anything with them, but they do have Lovecraft on them, which I think is kind of funny. Celtic runes. Okay. Back to the game. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's some things we can't see without the lantern. Would you read the book? <sighs> Last time we read the book. But I'm getting the feeling that this might have something to do with how the game ends. And a big theme in Lovecraft is that there is safety in ignorance. So I'm not going to read this one. That will affect my destiny? Yeah. I feel like we're going to get a happy ending the less we know. Because <laughs> there are some really, really screwed up things in the Lovecraft world. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's theosophical movement. Oh, so it's, it's Helena now. Its place truth on the same footing as a religion. Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's occultism stat right there. Looks like I do have to have my lamp out in order to see a lot of things in here. Kind of chalice. Oh, that snuck up on me. What's the deal with it? Kind of chalice. Is there 
Do the rubies and sapphires make up a specific motif? Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm just looking for clues anywhere I can find them. What else is in this back room? Something I missed before? A phonograph! Okay, now we can listen to these recordings. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. Oh, he's talking about to the goblet. The guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Drake Cylinder 2. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Hmm. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works hey. of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. Okay. All right, I think I've got it. If we uh, look back into the thing we found, where is it? Uh, knowledge, probably at the bottom. Oh, is it, it's in our inventory. For, okay, Drake's memoirs. Um. So he says. Three cylinders. Okay, so the clues are to be on the three cylinders. Those are definitely the little phonograph things we just found. Each hidden where life and study combine in the Greek world. Okay, so that's probably behind the painting we found already. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. I think he's just saying that the order is what they're numbered as. Match my intellect and find the combination of the safe. I would ask that they deliver its contents into the safekeeping of my friend. Okay. Let's see about this. Let me listen to them again one more time. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. The red drops. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. So maybe the first one is how many red stones are in there? How many... Rubies? What's the second one? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. <sighs> that one's really difficult. Is there a chessboard in here, maybe? Dear friend. I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. I have an idea that one of them is going to be how many of these are, and the other one's going to be the nine. Chalice that's of volume knowledge. Nine. Okay, do the rubies make up a specific motif? How many rubies do we have? One, two, three, four... Five. I think we have five. Let me use the handle as a way to judge it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's five rubies. Okay. So, theoretically, we might just be able to guess it by just picking one last thing. Uh, you know, just five, then, uh, then nine on the last one, and then we'll just guess whatever's in the middle. Is that how this is going to work? Real quick, I'm curious. Can I see what this picture was of? No. Okay. Drake talked about a particular volume. Yeah, he talked about the freaking Azathoth. Was it this one? So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. No, it's not that what one. What did Drake say about this no. collection? Drake talked about a no. So these are the volumes no. that Drake... What did Drake say about this collection? Here it is. I found it. Uh... Collection of poems by Edward Pickman. He was only 18 when he wrote it. And this is book nine. So I guess that's going to be our number. How about a chess set? Is there a chess set anywhere around here? I mean, I probably could just cheat it. 
but I really want to know what it is. I'm, I'm curious. Is the chest set a metaphor? Oh, here it is. God damn it. The queen has little protection. Okay. Uh, so... Okay, I think that we're supposed to interpret this as how many white pieces are left, because he refers to him, his team as being the white team. So that's four, then. So does that mean our combination is five, four, nine? I'd be really surprised if I get this first try, honestly. Okay. What? No. I didn't mean to do that. Five, four, nine. Guess not. Oh, wait, I never hit validate, did I? Did that do it? No, it didn't. So we're not actually going to be able to just brute force this, are we? That's not good. I mean, unless I just do it like this. Oh, it was three. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess the queen didn't count as a piece. Hey, we opened it, though. That's what counts. And now we have the Necronomicon right here. Certainly hope that whoever came to steal this isn't still here. Because they might get a little violent if that's the case. Also, Pierce, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you should not read this. Oh, no. Sauron. Where are we now? No. We're back at the Riverside Institute? In the name... Okay. In the Nameless Bookstore, Pierce traced the trail of an attempted burglary. He discovered that Charles Hawkins was behind the attempt. Pierce opened the bookseller's safe to find what the latter and Sarah Hawkins had hidden there. A book covered in human skin lied inside, irresistibly attracted to the detective. When he opened it, his mind was projected into another body... We're projecting into someone else's body? Who are we going to play as? Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. I'm Marie. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. And that's Fitzroy. He, he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. I wonder if our stats are still the same. Has he been drugged? Did you inject him with a tranquilizer? No, doctor. Not me, not anyone. Our stock is empty yet again. Again? But there was enough for the whole island. More and more people are suffering from insomnia. Ooh. We can't refuse to help. Of course. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? Fitzroy in the back seems really pissed about something. Uh, let's take a look Very at him. Very well. I'll examine him. Alright, are we gonna have like a really high medicine stat now? 30 year old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the eyes and eardrums. Necrosed palupral tissue. Lord, this smell. How about the hands? His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Slightly sticky. And what's this? Severe malnutrition. Swollen abdomen with traces of petechia. <sighs> Doesn't seem like an edema. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. So, Doctor, an opinion? 
I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Oh, screw Some Dr. Fuller, I'm better than him. are beyond my comprehension. What did you find? There's something in his stomach, isn't there? Did you examine his abdomen? It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Shit. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. It's not an edema, you... you... No. I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. He's dehydrated, too. We need to get him on IV. I see signs of hypodermoclysis, but he's still dehydrated. When was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but... When we bathed him earlier... He seemed to feel better? Yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. Is this a fish person? What the hell is going on? In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet... If there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. What about his cranium? Oh, man. It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. Look at these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? Oh, I'm no. sure you'll find an explanation. Oh, no. You have to. Shadow over Innsmouth appears to be making an appearance in this game now. I almost don't believe it myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. He's turning into a fish person, isn't no. he? This poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. And this transformation is killing him. His body simply can't cope. Where could he have gotten such an infection? Oh, Fitzroy's finally leaving. I pray that it's not here. Dr. Colden, may I know what you're doing to my patient? He's my what patient now, you creep. How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone, nor your insinuations. I've done to him what I do to all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. Your imagination is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your homemade guinea pigs. drug. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? Uh, we should probably not put everything on the table at once. His limbs, his body temperature. I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh. I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me in my scientific endeavors? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... This man has the attributes of... some kind of animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? You bitch. This amuses you. Your reaction does. I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie, but I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. In the meantime, take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. I gotta keep a mean? close eye on him. It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest, I will only ruin my reputation and career. It's scandalous. 
Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh. I don't want this lady's help, honestly. I do not want to drag a poor soul under this. Don't you get involved in this. You've done enough already. But doctor, this man is dying. There's no, nothing no. we can do about it. He's in the hands of Dr. Fuller. Do you wish to end up like Elizabeth? With a diploma from Nightingale and the chores of a cleaning lady? No. You're right. Let me do my own investigation. It's time I found those missing files. And where would you find those? In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Of course, Doctor. You can count on me. I'll keep Mum. All right, we're in the game. <sighs> this poor dude's not doing well. Uh, looks like we don't have a lighter or a lantern. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. So this dude, Dr. Fuller, is experimenting on patients, which is very uh, illegal, needless to say. And it sounds like we're going... Okay, our objective is to get into his Chronic office. Chronic insomnia. Like half the island. So we need to get into Fuller's office, and we're going to try to find some dirt on him to bring the authorities. I hope we, I hope we can have Bradley come in. Deus Ex Bradley. Or Bradley Ex Machina, rather. Doctor, please... Fisherman. Uh, my chest. Oh. oh no. His perfusion of a semi-physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. I don't know what that means, but it sounds bad. Nurse? Deborah, come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. I'll tend to it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. God damn it. Pierce would never know any of this shit. I'm assuming we did get a stat change and we have a lot more medicine know-how now that we're looking into her. Maybe this will give Pierce a big medicine boost when we return to his body. Assuming we do return. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Just probably to be another guinea pig. It's very interesting that everyone on this island seems to be suffering from insomnia. I want to know what that's about. He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Oh, poor dude. Is he lucid? Uh, the whaling station. He is. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. It's the old whaling station. See? Uh, the bootleggers? The one that hides the smuggling business. Oh, no, not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. And that's how you broke your back? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. Well, he is lucid. I'll just sleep a bit more. Ah, uh, we weren't able to ask him one thing. I feel like something happened in that wheeling station, though. More sleeping pills. Invalid lady over here. She recently came back from the surgical block. She's stable. Oh, well, Given her, her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Huh. Interesting. I assume we're looking for keys. What is the boiler room key doing here? I don't know, but take the key it. key to the boiler room. Okay. Not where uh, I expected to find it. Goody Two Shoes Marie doesn't have a habit for stealing things like Pierce. Or Nancy, for that matter. Come on, Marie. Channel your inner Nancy Drew. Okay. Intoxication a bearing. from breathing organic vapors. Still trying to get my bearing for what's going on around here. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. They're poisoning the water. That must be it. At least that's what I can think of. Hey, nurse, what's good? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. We haven't been able to move him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. 
Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? This dude's Inject him with a violent. dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. You can tell from how twitchy he is. He bit his lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth. Evidently because of such drooling. His binds left bloody wounds. So, doctor, what should we do with this patient? He's been... He got roughed up, didn't Those he? Those basement brutes tied him up too tight, and now he's hurt. I keep trying to heal his wounds, but he reopens them. Do you have a diploma as a nurse? Excuse me? So take care of this man. All right, pretty straightforward. I got a checkpoint there. Game saved. That tells me that there's going to be some possible game overs coming up. Okay. That's enough of the infirmary right there. Let's try to have a look around more. Hey, General, fella. May I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. Oh, I know her. Uh, she's actually fine. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. We'll wait for her to wake up. We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. You sure you don't want to wait somewhere else so I can sneak into the kitchen? Or actually, I can just walk in. It doesn't matter. Maybe Fuller does have some weird angle, and he's, I don't know, harvesting dead people or something to make miracle medicine? Because it sounds like he absolutely slam dunk saved that woman. What's going on in this vat? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Interesting. So I guess that can't be the source of the insomnia, otherwise the hospital staff would all have it too. Hey, fella. Watch out for the water, doctor. Thanks, man. It's weird to actually be playing in this place leg. as someone who's good. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Oh, well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. Wonder who they're talking about. Can I follow her and Dr. ask? Dr. Colden? Guess not. Men's bathroom? Where's the women's bathroom? This, whoever they were talking Everybody about this, I was in the bathroom. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. Who are they talking about? I'm Donovan? The who pays. What a pest. It's so uh, unfair. I remember Donovan. She was the lady who was uh, stimming us up with the needle when we first came as Pierce. She was like, oh, he's having a seizure, and I did not like her. Elizabeth? You all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again. Giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So every time the water gets shut off, I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doctor. Donovan sounds like something of a nurse ratchet character. So I guess that's the men's bathroom? Yeah. The answers must be hidden in Fuller's office. I didn't make this up. And I so we're gonna have to find a key somewhere. Who might have the key? Would it be in the storage room? Medicine, secret sciences. That doesn't even boost our medicine stat. We're probably playing at max medicine right now. It's all that was in there, though. Uh, 
like the reception area. Yeah. Is this Donovan? Doctor Colden. No, I guess not. Where the Bradley? What's up, King? How you doing? Ethan. Marie, I. What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? Uh, we'll get him something. We okay? So we have master level medicine. That's cool. Kind of want to use the skill check, but he's lying. You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake. Every night. Aww. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. That's Actually, the insomnia. You're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. That's it. It's not that something's making people physically sleepy, like a reaction to stimulant. It's that they can't sleep from nightmares. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Hold up, Take care, Brad. Ethan. I you think too, we're gonna Marie. have some use for him yet. He's not gonna just sit in that chair this whole chapter. I can promise you I that. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost sure no man. patience here. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. It must be one of the nurse's husbands. What's up in here? Are you Donovan? Thank you for your help, Doctor. No, you're not. Thank you. I'll be going. I want to figure out which one is Donovan, because she just sounds scary. I want to get like a, another good look at her. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Does he? In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. But we know where that is. It was in the desk over there. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. Ooh. What did Fuller do to him? Interesting. I wonder if Edward's seeing everything right now, or if he's not going to remember any of this. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. That guy doesn't look like a doctor. Who's this well-dressed man? Guess I can't tell. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Ooh. Let's hope Thomas I can Fuller? go through the administration office. Oh, so this is this is his actual office right there. How about this guy? Nothing? Okay, here's the administration. And that's unlocked. Okay. Uh, is this Fuller's coat? We gotta find his key, don't we? Is this Donovan? I have little time for you, Doctor. Yep. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like... I think we might actually outrank Miss Donovan. She doesn't seem very scared of us. Or she's she's not so demanding of us, it seems. Whereas everyone else treats her like the Wicked Witch of the West. Okay. What all is there to see in here? Where's this go? Uh, I don't want to go back out there yet. Nothing, nothing. Wait a minute. Where do you oh. think you're going? She scared me. She's Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. 
nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That <sighs> won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. What a bitch. I hate her. Watch me going right where now. Where do you think you're going? Come on. <laughs> okay. Distract Donovan and cut off the water. Okay, so cutting off the water will require the one lady to go back. Donovan's gonna have to go back and help her then. That's what it is. She's a witch. An old yeah, okay, this is the room. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who it's temperamental, it. if I understand yes. correctly. It's so unfair. Okay, I'm getting an idea of this. This pipe is gonna go to the boiler room, isn't it? Follow the red pipe on the ceiling. That's what I gotta do. Yeah. The into door the to the boiler room is locked. But we know where, where the key I is. Where did see that key? Ah, yes. The office in Block B. Hey, Bradley, you holding is up well? Is everything all right, Ethan? Yeah, I just. I know I should go. I will work until late. Oh. All right. Stick around, buddy. We'll have use for you yet. Okay, there was a desk over here and the boiler room key was in it. So we're gonna get down to the boiler room, cut off the water, and then Donovan's gonna have to the go. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Yeah, pretty straightforward. I really hope Marie doesn't get caught and interned. That'd be a really sad solution to her story. Of course, if that does happen, we are breaking her out. Like, hard as hell. Bradley and Pierce are gonna come in guns blazing. Shut this behind us. No one needs to know we were in here. Okay. Just a twist of the valve. Oh no. We I have a high shoot stat. This with my bare hands. I need a tool. We have a high stat for everything but strength. That's how this is, isn't it? Can I look at my stats, actually? No, we can't look at Pierce's stats. Interesting. Okay. So, we definitely have a different character build right now. Where are we going to find this tool? What's this dude sleeping on a gurney? There were some things over here I didn't look through. It wasn't there. Nothing in the vent, I don't think. Probably gonna want like a big old socket wrench or something. Or a big old adjustable wrench. Oh, maybe maybe there'll be a tool in storage and we just couldn't see it before. That could be it. Bathroom? Hey! We've got a monkey wrench. Perfect. Hey Bradley, I'm about to do something obscene. About to commit a little tomfoolery. Okay. Please tell me that's. Okay. okay. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Yes, you do. Wait, which way do I go? Elizabeth, what's up? Is this faucet working? It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. That's okay, you're your a pawn in a larger game. Defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. I don't care. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Okay. Okay. I, it's probably best off that Donovan doesn't see us. What are you doing over here? That's her. Mrs. Okay. Donovan, I'm busy. Let's go time. That's probably not going to last very long. Last. The missing files must be hidden here. 
Okay, come on. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I see. Just a simple sequence puzzle. We probably just need them all to face the right direction. I've there unlocked something. Sarah Hawkins' interview. Ooh, Patient we'll get files. to hear her voice. I was right. Is that all? We should just get in, get out, get going. So, is there anything the else Stendhal in here? Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Subjects display mental disorders linked to an exposure to works of art. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Conclusions. Session number 17. Oh, this is the interview. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. You gonna say anything, sir? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. What are you inject her with? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Did he do this all to her? James came. I'm right that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. Interesting. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It seems that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Excuse me, what? In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. He has her body, doesn't he? Hawkins' body is in the morgue. What is this mischievous mayhem he's going on about? Of course! Sarah Hawkins is the connection. The missing shoe! There was a shoe missing! Hit the scene. That's right. Okay, we're gonna have to get out of here fast, I'm sensing. I must go back to the basement. Okay, real quick, nothing on the desk, nothing on the desk, cool. All right, let's get out, this door. Oh, come on, don't make me go out the way we came. I should go another way. Oh, come on, Marie, you know she's gonna be there. No, leave the door open, the door is open when we found it, you dumbass. Yes, leave it open. There. Hmm, yes. Very non-sus. Hello, my fellow crewmates. Nothing sussy going on here. Oh, Bradley's gone. Where did he go? Did he actually leave? Because I kind of wanted his help. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Okay, I gotta get into the psychiatric wing. Surgical ward? The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Where is the psych wing? Psych wing was the basement, right? How am I gonna find that? There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. All right, Murray. Block B. It wasn't attached to this, was it? I don't even think we explored this whole block. It's pretty big. Who's this? Mrs. Sanders? Oh, no! 
It is Mrs. Sanders. What's wrong with her? Why did nobody tell me about her admission? File describes the state in which Irene Sanders entered the Riverside Institute, as well as the treatments administered to her. Fuller added a handwritten note he recommends to take her down to the psychiatric wing in order to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. Did she get committed, like, literally when my back was turned? Maybe we can be the ones to bring her down to the psych ward. Dr. Colden? I feel like everyone kind of resents us just because we outrank them. It's a little funny. <laughs> oh, this was uh, not locked before. We are authorized personnel, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, so we were allowed to go down here. I don't know if we're encouraged to, though. Oh, no. The playful ambient music went away. We are descending into the depths. Ooh. Holy shit. This is actually so far underground. Oh, my God. This is so damn freaky. I've already been down here once. Hey, Fuller. What's good? Ah. Now, that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Ah, uh, no. I should have looked around a little bit more. No more astral projecting. Okay. Oh, shit. If you're gonna shoot me. At least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Drake? Turn around. It is Drake. Slowly. Put the gun down. I solved your riddles. We're buddies. We're puzzle buddies. Come on, man. Talk, filthy thief. Oh, I swear I'll shoot. I'm not I'm not the thief, okay? Uh Oh, you know what? I I am an expert at strength. You know what? Yeah, let's do a strength Lower check. Lower the gun or you'll be sorry. Come on. I am the one with the weapon. You ain't got For the now. nerve. If we have an option right. to take the gun from him. Okay. I just need to protect myself. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? Uh, she Marie. went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start. Shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? It was the Necronomicon. Dr. Colden. How about that? She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. We're breaking Wait. her out. No way. No one knows the occult better than me. Bradley, you we're getting the band together. Help. Uh, yes, take him with us too. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. I know the last time. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Yes. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. I know the last time that we took someone with us, it was Bradley, and we, like, nearly got him killed. But I don't care. I want, I want the more the merrier. Please tell me you're going to go get Bradley first, Pierce. Come on. Get yourself a ride along. Chapter 9, Riverside Institute. Oh, man. I'm going to call it an episode there, but I'm... I'm not going to stop playing. I'm going to I'm going to play through this. This shit's got my attention.